Well, how you doing, Dolly? <laughs> Listen, I'll still match paychecks with you guys. What did he say, Dave? What who say? Mr. Grinnell. What makes you think he said anything? Oh, please, what did he say? Did you go to bat for me? Well, of course I did. Thanks, heaps. Dave, you're not upset because I went to Grinnell. No. Just didn't do any good, that's all. What do you mean? Well, Mr. Grinnell and I are of different minds, fortunately for me. You're an idiot. Dear frustrated, your problem interests me very much. Why don't you get off your high horse and go in and tell Grinnell that you'll take your old... Nothing doing, Kit. You have a one-track mind. Well, it seems to run in the right direction. Besides, I'm getting very attached to my job. Dear frustrated. No. So you stuck it out for a month, so you proved you could take it. Now, for the your love of my... Your problem definitely interests me very much. Hey, Dolly, a bewildered heart to see you. Yes? She says she has a problem. <laughs> well, I'm sure that Dolly will solve it for you. I must be in the wrong office. Don't use snap judgment. I was looking for Dolly Trent. I'm Dolly Trent. But I thought you were a man. I mean, I thought she was a woman. Take your choice. Are you sure you're Dolly Trent? I'm Dolly Trent. Sit down. I sent you a letter. Three letters. You did? Uh-huh. My name's Billy. Billy Martin. The letters were about me and my boyfriend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Trouble. Well, yes. We were going to be married. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes, it was. We were all ready to be married when... Look, Miss Martin, why don't you let me answer your problem in my column? But I've already written you three letters and didn't get any answer. The last one was over a month ago. Oh, well, swell. Well, I'll get right on it, and we'll probably have it out in about three but months. But I can't wait another month. I want to get married. Why? i got to have a reason. Oh, no, no, no. Well, forget it. Look, Miss Trent, me and Carl, my boyfriend, had a fight in a nightclub. I wanted to dance, and all he wanted to do was sit at the bar and get blotted. Well, I can't understand that. He even spilled a drink on my dress. So you know what I did? What did you do? I walked out on him. Well, it serves him right. No, it didn't. I felt sorry for Carl sitting all alone in Horseshoe Harry's that way. Horseshoe Harry's? You mean Kiever's place? Who's Kiever? Well, never mind. Go on. Well, anyway, when I went back to Horseshoe Harry's, there was no Carl. Amazing. And when I called his house, there was still no Carl. Fantastic. 